person we are. There's the person we wish to be. And I figure, my theory is that there's a, that there's a combination of those two and that's the person we end up being. My name's Lee Cooney, I'm an artist. Um, like, how much of an introduction do you want? You know what I mean? Like, that, because, uh, that's, that's what uh, I, I paint, I paint full time. The most common theme in my art would be that we wear masks, um, obviously metaphorical masks. There's like the person you are at work, you sort of put on this face, and then you go home to your, you know, your girlfriend, your family, your wife, you know, whatever probably the closest thing to who you really are you know and then you've got your person who you are when you're by yourself the raw material i mean i'm trying to become more comfortable and just say i don't care this is who i am i'm a geeky you know I'm, I'm into books and film and you know and um very few people know who i really am and you know and i don't even know sometimes who i am i'm still trying to figure that out every day No, um, <laughs> no, no, I didn't really actually. Uh, no, I've never really, never really fit in. But I still, although I joke about it, I still think that is kind of a, I'm covering a bit for the fact that at the end of the day, I'm really not all that comfortable with. I'm a very awkward person, and I think when I was growing up, when I was, you know, I moved here from Ireland when I was six, and I was an outsider and I never fit in for years. We moved around quite a bit, so I never quite settled down. So I think I ended up sort of, you know, I, I lived this life when I was growing up of the, trying to be someone I wasn't. On top of the fact that I had like an Irish accent, which I very quickly learned to lose, you get pushed around, beat up enough when you're a kid over being the guy with the funny accent, you know, uh, that you, you quickly learn to lose that. And I think I ended up repressing this Irishness, you know what I mean, this inherent Irishness that I had, how can I translate some of these thoughts into ideas for paintings? Well, I'm sure I do wear a mask, and um, I think the hardest thing to say is who I am under that mask, how do you summarize that, I don't know. Sometimes I think if you make something complicated enough, it almost sounds like it makes sense. I don't know what the hell makes a good painting, to be honest with you. I paint what feels good. Whenever I hear one of those, don't ever do this, don't ever do that rules, I do it. You know, don't ever write on your canvas. Oh, words, those aren't a visual medium. So I write on my canvas, like I write all the time. Some days it's a job, I'm sure, and some days you're enjoying it enough that it shouldn't be a job. So therefore, that's how I think. That's what I think of as a job. Which is why I essentially think I don't work. I do a hobby for a living. That's all I have to say about that.